happy morning my dear children the last class we learned about that absorption application and physical and chemical absorption now the am i today we shall continue after the applications of the catalysis in 1836 one of the great scientist bersles certain substances can loosen the bond of the reacting molecule certain substances can loosen the bond of reacting substances and also maybe it can be may it can be increase the rate of the reaction by that substance the reaction can be somewhat speed or slow so he find out one name is called catalyst what is that catalyst so today our learning objectives to learn about the catalyst what is about the catalyst the small class we you may be learned that about the catalyst the catalyst is a substance which alter the rate of the reaction am i right without changing the chemical reaction as per the catalyst we have positive catalysis and also the negative catalysis what is about the positive catalysis means the rate of the reaction is increased by we are adding one substance whenever we are adding one substance to the reaction the reaction rate is increases that we call as positive catalysis the very good example is the decomposition of hydrogen peroxide by adding collaryl platinum by adding collaryl platinum the hydrogen peroxide is converted into water and oxygen suppose we are adding collaryl platinum the reaction is goes somewhat fast such a type of the reaction is called as positive catalysis and the negative catalysis means when we are adding we are adding one substance to the particular reaction it will be slow the reaction decrease the speed of the reaction increasing or decreasing increasing means positive decreasing means negative okay this is about the negative catalysis then it is again broadly classified into two types one is about the homogeneous catalysis and about the heterogeneous catalysis homogeneous catalysis means here the reaction catalyst and product okay reaction catalyst and product are in same phase homo means same okay don't forget same phase yes in the homo in this catalyst next about the heterogeneous catalyst catalysis means the reaction and the catalyst are different phase that is called as what heterogeneous catalysis the homogeneous and heterogeneous catalyst is having a number of number of reaction so we should be write all the reaction for example the first one reaction sulfur dioxide is converted into sulfur trioxide okay sulfur dioxide for the homogeneous catalysis sulfur dioxide so2 reacts with oxygen in the presence of no act as a catalyst and we get the product is so3 here so2 gaseous phase oxygen gaseous phase no gaseous phase and also sulfur trioxide is also 
gaseous phase. So the reactant catalyst product on same phase is called as homogeneous catalysis. And here we have a number of number of reactions we can be discussed one by one. Anyhow, the heterogeneous catalysis means the reaction catalysts are in different phase. Okay, that we are learning already. We learned that one had a Habe's process, contact process. Habe's process means the manufacture of ammonia by the reaction between nitrogen, hydrogen in the presence of iron as a catalyst. And about the contact process, sulfur dioxide plus oxygen, we get sulfur dioxide in the presence of platinum and also vanadium pentoxide act as a catalyst. Okay, a lot of equation we have. Please, we can be write all the reaction one by one. Okay, please also open the note. We can be write all the reaction this. Okay. To learn about catalysis. In 1836, in 1836, Bersilus, one of the great scientists, Bersilus, identified certain substance loses, loosen the bond in the reacting molecule. One of the reacting molecule, certain substance can the ability to loosen the bond in the reacting molecule and also one more function it can be increase the rate of the reaction that particular substance can increase the rate of the substance the rate of the reaction am i right so and also one more point he also found that these substance did, did not undergo any chemical change okay any change any chemical change so that he gave the name as catalyst. What? Catalyst. Okay. In 1836, one of the great scientists, Bersilus, okay, Bersilus, identified certain substance loosen the bond in the reacting molecule. One of the reacting molecule, for example, it can be taken as A plus B. This is one of the reaction A plus B gives A B. For example, I am saying one of the examples. Certain, whenever we are adding certain substance, here this substance can loosen the bond in the reactive molecule and also increase the rate of the reaction. Increase the rate of the reaction. The particular substance did not undergo any change chemically or any change chemically, chemical reaction. So he gave that substance name is called as what? Catalyst. Anyhow, we should be say the definition for catalyst. Here, there are many substances which retard the speed of the reaction. So what is the definition for catalyst? What is the definition for catalyst? The catalyst is a substance which alter, don't forget that, alter, which alter the rate of the chemical reaction without it itself undergoing chemical change. Okay, what's the definition? One of the substance, a substance which alter the rate of the rate of chemical chemical reaction without itself undergoing chemical change okay this phenomenon this phenomenon which involves the action of the catalyst is called catalysis. Okay. Anyhow, whenever we are learning about the catalyst can be classified into many types. Okay. First of all, we can be learning about that positive catalyst and negative catalyst. 
positive catalyst and negative catalyst. And negative. Here, positive catalyst. What do you understand about the positive catalyst? Whenever we are adding one substance, the rate of the reaction is increased by the presence of catalyst. Okay? The positive catalyst, the rate of the reaction is increased. The rate of the reaction is increased in the presence of catalyst. We are saying that positive catalyst. So, what is the examples of positive catalyst? How can it be known? Example, the decomposition of hydrogen peroxide. Decomposition of hydrogen peroxide. Okay? So, the formula for hydrogen peroxide is H2O2. This H2O2 undergoes the decomposition. We get water, H2O plus water, oxygen. So how to balance the equation? Uh, two oxygen. So make it two here. Now the equation is balanced. Okay. Anyhow, here which catalyst we are using is colloidal platinum. Colloidal platinum. Colloidal platinum. Here. Yeah? So here, when we are adding one substance, here. The reaction is increased by the presence of collateral platinum. Okay. And also, uh, one more example we can be say uh, potassium chloride. The formula for potassium chloride is KClO3. Potassium chloride. This undergoes also decomposition. We get KCl, potassium chloride, and also oxygen and also oxygen. We have to balance the equation here. So here having 3 oxygen, 2 oxygen make it 2 here, 2 here. Here also 3 here. Here, the potassium chloride is converted into potassium chloride and oxygen. Okay, okay? But whenever we are adding one of the catalysts is MnO2, manganese dioxide. Okay, so now the speed of the reaction is increased. When we are adding one of the catalysts, the speed, the reaction is going fast, somewhat fast. We get potassium, chloride and oxygen. This is about the examples of possible catalysts. I think that your text should not have it uh, sometimes the example. So try to write this example. Okay. And about the negative catalyst, we can be discussed later. Anyhow. What is the definition for negative catalyst? It will be slow. That means the rate of the reaction is decreases in the presence of catalyst. The rate of the reaction is decreases. When we are adding one substance, by the by means of that substance, the rate of the reaction is increases. So it decreases. Decreases means negative and increases means positive. The rate of the reaction is increases means positive. The rate of the reaction is decreases means negative catalyst. Again, the two main catalysts, two main catalysts are homogeneous cat catalyst and also the heterogeneous catalyst. Okay? There are two main types of catalysts. One is about the homogeneous and another one is about the heterogeneous catalyst. First one is a homogeneous. Homogeneous catalysis. Here, the reactant catalyst and also the product are in same phase. Okay? The reactant product and catalyst are present in the same phase. Such a type of the reaction is called as homogeneous catalyst. We can be said same phase.
That means the reactant catalyst and the product reactant catalyst and product on same phase is called as uh, homogeneous catalyst. For example, sulfur dioxide, the reaction between sulfur dioxide and oxygen, the presence of NO, we get yes, SO2 and combines with O2 to form SO3 plus NO. Here, this SO2 and O2 are the reactant. Reactant. NO is the catalyst. We get the product. Now, in O also, and, uh, so far in there, the product said, okay, anyhow, here, we have to balance the equation. I'm going to about the balance to equation. You can be making two here, two here, then oxygen, there, yeah, two, six. Okay, here, sulfur dioxide is there. Gaseous phase, okay? Gaseous phase. Gas. Oxygen also gas. Genu also gas. SO3 also gas. Okay? Gas. Gas phase. Gas phase. Okay. So everything on gaseous phase. So the reactant catalyst product. Reactant catalyst product of the same phase is called as homogeneous catalyst. Okay. And also, as per our textbook, we have a lot of examples. Uh, that all the examples you should learn because they will ask in the one value question. Okay. So, it should be learned all, all the other examples. For the two mark and three mark, uh, the definition and also the example is enough. Any one example is enough. Those who are interested, you can, you can learn about all the remaining questions. Anyhow, the next one. Acetaldehyde. Acetaldehyde. That is the formula for acetaldehyde is CH3. CHO. The acetaldehyde, we are adding one of the catalysts is I2. I2. So, what is the product obtained? The CH3. On combines with the hydrogen. The CH3 on combines with the hydrogen, we get CH4. CH4. This carbon on combines with the oxygen to form carbon monoxide. And also I2 also living on them, right? I2. I2. Here, this is in vapor state, okay, vapor. Here, reactant, this is the catalyst also, vapor. Product also vapor. Carbon monoxide also vapor state. Iron also vapor. Everything are in vapor state. So, can you say which reaction? This is a homogeneous or heterogeneous. Heterogeneous means different. Is it homogeneous? Homogeneous catalyst. Uh, next, uh, another more example is hydrolysis of cane sugar. Okay, cane sugar, the formula, we are saying the sucrose formula. That is C tol H22 O11. Sucrose. Sucrose. Am I right? This undergoes hydrolysis. That means we are adding water. Okay, that is. Uh -huh. Water in the presence of the mineral acid, you can be say that the hydro uh, sulfuric acid. Okay, sulfuric acid, we are saying sulfuric acid. So, what are the products are obtained? That means the hydrogen will be attached here, the oxygen will be attached here. So, this we get two product named as C6 hydrol O6 plus C6. H12O6. Am I right? 
What is a glucose? Another one is a fructose. Okay. Okay. They both they have in the same molecular formula. That is okay. But different the structure. Structure only different. Molecular formula same. That is we have seen that isomerism. Am I right? Carbon they have in the same molecular formula. But different in the structure. We have seen the isomerism. That also we have the lesson in biomolecules. We can discuss later. Okay, Nika. We should be write the equation. The hydrolysis of cane sugar in the presence of mineral acid. We get glucose sugar. That is glucose and fructose. Okay. Here everything are in aqueous solution. Okay. Aqueous solution. Everything are in liquid. We can be say liquid state. Otherwise we can be say aqueous solution. Liquid state. Okay. Next one is. Next equation is about that. Uh, ester or hydrolysis with acid or alkali as a catalyst. Okay. Ester. What is the formula for ester? CH3 COO C2H5. The name of the compound is C2H5 is ethyl. Am I right? Ethyl. CH3 COO acetate. The name of the compound is ethyl acetate. Ethyl acetate. This ethyl acetate undergoes hydrolysis with water in the presence of an acid. Which acid? Mineral acid that is called sulfuric acid. So what product is obtained? The hydrolysis is converted into H plus plus OH minus. Am I right? So what is the product? CH3 COOH. CH3 COOH. Am I right? CH3 COOH plus C2H5 OH. C2H5 OH. What is that? This is called as an acetic acid. Acetic acid. This is called as an ethyl alcohol. Whenever you are learning, you, you should be at least you should be learn about the common name. Otherwise, I this name. You cannot be mixed both the two names, okay? If you are writing, I use this name is also okay. Otherwise, the common name. I think that the better line is common name is very easy. Okay. Anyhow, as per your choice, here ethyl acetate on react undergoes hydrolysis with mineral acid. We get acetic acid and ethyl alcohol. Okay, these are all in same phase, that is liquid state. Same phase. So these are all what? Homogeneous catalyst. There is no any other any other solid state or any other uh, vapor state like that. We, all the equations are in same phase. It may be a solid or it may be a liquid or it may be a gas or, or it may be a vapor state. Anyhow, all in same phase or called as homo means same. Okay. Same phase. Yeah? Next about that heterogeneous. Heterogeneous catalyst. Okay, here, what is about the heterogeneous catalyst? That means, in reaction, the catalyst present in different phase. Okay, the catalyst present where? Different phase. For example, we can be say, preparation of sulfur trioxide. Okay, sulfur trioxide. That we are seeing the contact process. Okay. Uh, heterogeneous. Heterogeneous catalyst. Okay. Here. The reactant and the product. The reactant and the catalyst are different fields. For example, contact process. Already we learned that what is about the contact process that is the manufacture of uh, sulfur trioxide, the preparation of sulfur trioxide, am I right? SO2, SO2 plus O2 
in the presence of Pt or B2O5 vanadium tin oxide. Okay, we get the product. SO3 on reacts with oxygen, we get SO3. SO2 on reacts with oxygen, we get SO3. Sulfur trioxide. We have to balance the equation. Make it to two. Okay. Then we have this is a gaseous state. Gaseous state. PT and vanadium pentoxide both are in solid state. Another is solid phase. Okay? Okay? So, sulfur dioxide on react with oxygen in the presence of platinum, otherwise called vanadium, sorry, not otherwise, platinum or vanadium pentoxide we get. SO3, sulfur trioxide. Gaseous state, gaseous state, and also solid state. Okay, now the second one about that cabbage process. Unless you know that the cabbage process means the manufacture of ammonia. Manufacture of ammonia. Don't forget that in previous lessons we learned that one. Manufacture of ammonia for cabbage process. And the sulfur trioxide is the contact process. The reaction between nitrogen and plus hydrogen, we get ammonia, NH3. Two nitrogen, two nitrogen, three hydrogen. So, here we are using one of the catalysts is called Fe. Iron acts as a catalyst. Iron acts as a catalyst. And also one more promoter also having that we can be discussed later. The what is the promoter means molybdenum, MO, molybdenum. That we can be discussed later. Okay, there you go. As per our textbook, that is only catalyst we have Nitrogen on reacts with hydrogen to form ammonia. Here nitrogen and hydrogen are the gaseous state. Fe is the solid, solid. Okay. So this is an example. The reactant and the catalyst are in different phase. The reactant and the catalyst are in different phase. They are called as what? Heterogeneous catalyst. Heterogeneous catalyst. Okay. Then about we can be learn another more example as per the textbook. I think that we have uh, more than six examples. Uh, we should be learn all the examples, okay? Those who are interested, you can be learn all the equations. Otherwise, please, at least you should be learn one or two equations is enough for you. That is as per your choice. Anyhow, the next one is oxidation of ammonia. Oxidation of ammonia, that is oxidation of ammonia. Ammonia. Nitrogen. That is ammonia. On reacts with oxygen, we get nitrogen combines with oxygen to form NO. Nitrogen combines with oxygen to form NO. Hydrogen combines with oxygen to form water. Okay? Water. So, how can you balance it? It's the easiest thing. You should be taking return by this, okay? We are using 4, 5. Because at many times I told you about to, how to balance the equation. 4, 4 nitrogen, 4 nitrogen. So oxygen how much? 5 to sir. 10. Okay, so make it here. Six. <laughs> Three. Hydrogen. Uh, 4 3 is our fault. Okay? Now the equation is bad. Am I right? So, 3 ox. Six plus, uh, 6 plus 4. 6. Here I have 6. Here I have 4. So, make it here 5. Now, balance. Oxygen is balanced. Okay, here. Yeah. The next one is. Here, this is the gaseous state of ammonia. 
Option is also gas testing. Here, which catalyst we are using is platinum, PT, platinum. Here, platinum is a solid state, solid phase, okay? Here, the reactant and the catalyst are different. So, we are called as what? Heterogeneous catalyst. Which catalyst? Heterogeneous catalyst. Next one is about the hydrogenation. There is a hydrogenation of unsaturated organic carbon. Unsaturated. Unsaturated organic. The saturated organic compounds and also unsaturated organic compounds. Saturated means we can just say that having a single bond. Here unsaturated means a double bond. Don't forget that double bond or triple bond. Okay. Okay. So a double bond one of the double compound I am taking double bond compound I am taking that is CH2 double bond CH2. Ethylene. The name of the compound is ethylene. Ethylene on react with hydrogen. Ethylene on react with hydrogen in the presence of nickel act as a catalyst. Nickel act as a catalyst. So hydrogen is attached here. One of the hydrogen attached here, CH2, is converted into CH3. And another more hydrogen also like that. CH2 is converted into CH3. So what is the product means? CH3, single bond CH3. So, double bond is converted into single bond. This is an unsaturated organic compound. This is a saturated organic compound. Okay, here, here, CH2 double bond CH2. We are taking another one, maybe a gas state. Here also, gas state. Here solid steel, nickel. Okay. Next one is about the decomposition of hydrogen peroxide. Decomposition of hydrogen peroxide by using a platinum. Okay. Hydrogen peroxide has two O2. This is we can be taken as a liquid state. Hydrogen peroxide on reacts on decomposition the presence of platinum. Chloride and platinum. Here, this is liquid phase, this is the solid phase, okay? Platinum. Previous I told you that this is what? Solid state, am I right? Anyhow, what is the product? means water plus oxygen. Water plus oxygen. So, how to balance the equation? Make it two root two. Here, liquid phase is different, different. Hetero means different. Homo means same, homogeneous, same phase. Heterogeneous, different phase. Okay? Different phase is called what? Heterogeneous. Don't forget that. The last one equation. The reaction between benzene and acetyl chloride. Benzene and acetyl chloride. We get, what is the catalyst we are here using? The presence of anhydrous. Aluminium chloride, anhydrous aluminium chloride acts as a catalyst. The product is acetophenone. Okay. What is the formula for benzene? Can you say? C6H6. The formula for benzene. So that compound having 6 carbon and 6 hydrogen. Am I right? So I am not drawing like that. Okay. This is called not a benzene, we should be give the bond, alternative double bond. Okay. Suppose we are using double bond, next single bond, double bond, single bond, double bond. This we are called as what? Benzene otherwise. This is also correct. Okay, this is also correct. Anyhow, as per your choice. This is also benzene like that. Double bond, single bond, double bond, single bond like that. Okay, anyhow, this is about the what? Benzene. This benzene on reacts with acetyl chloride. Acetyl chloride means what is the formula for acetic acid? CH3C6. 
COOH acetic acid in the presence of anhydrous aluminum chloride here we need not acetic acid acetyl chloride so replacement of OH by adding CL by adding CL so the name of the compound is acetyl chloride acetyl chloride okay in the presence of anhydrous ALCL3 anhydrous ALCL3 so what is our respective product here this group will be attached to benzene that means the acetyl chloride is attached to anywhere anywhere whatever may be the place okay one that that the particular place one of the hydrogen should be leaving out for example listen to you this area having carbon and hydrogen am i right here carbon and hydrogen here carbon and hydrogen here carbon hydrogen carbon hydrogen carbon hydrogen so the formula is c6h6 okay dear so suppose i am adding this place here having carbon hydrogen am i right so this carbon this hydrogen on combines with combines with cl so what's the product hcl what's the product hcl the remaining group will be attached here so what is our respective product that is what this co co ch3 co ch3 this is called what acetophenol acetyl acetophenol clear can you write have it out from this area so it is out yeah but that is also about that we can just say it's a liquid state a liquid state this is the solid state okay so we get an acetophenol okay acetophenol and you have the assignment what is positive catalyst positive catalyst exam with exam okay homogeneous catalyst with the exam any one any one exam okay here also any one any one exam heterogeneous catalyst with the exam any one okay so what i am expecting here means positive catalyst you should be write the definition a one line definition is enough one line definition and what any one exam like what uh, two two exam homogeneous catalyst write the correct appropriate definition and also what one exam next about the heterogeneous catalyst same like that the correct definition and one exam okay total the uh, two more question three i gave the uh, same please all of you write the same okay thank you all for time have a nice day